Hello Leo, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So Leo, this is your reading for the month of April, and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa, and time is fluid. Leo, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. Now, in this reading, Leo will see what is your energy, what you need to know for the month of April, what is the energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with, you will be dealing with. I'm also pulling out some cards and additional cards and we'll see what are the challenges and opportunities that are coming towards you in the month of April, Leo. There is an extended reading for this one. Link for the same is in the description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, likely conclusion between you and this person. Let's get started now. What you need to know, two of swords. I think so you will be standing at crossroads somewhere in the in the month of April. Uh, I do see you taking your own time to make the decision. I certainly feel like you don't want to rush into the decision-making process. You don't want to uh, I think so the decision making is very important whatever decision you will take will have a long lasting effect on your life um, that effect probably will stay for at least five six years in your life and that is why you are being very cautious that is why you are taking your own time in making the decision that is why you are not rushing into the situation and uh, maybe you're going to contemplate a lot around it. Maybe you're going to ask or seek opinion from your near and dear ones. Now, what this decision could really, could be related to? We have, it's a two of swords card and there is a huge water body behind. Somewhere I feel like this decision is related to a situation or a person that is very close to you emotionally. And you know that when it comes to this situation or this person, the toughest thing that you'll have to keep is to think in, an, in a very unbiased manner. To keep your emotions aside and then think. Whereas you know that you are very, very uh, emotionally inclined towards this person. But this decision will require you to keep your emotions at a far off distance and then make a decision which is not going to be easy having said so does that mean that you're going to make a wrong decision no it's it, it's it does not mean that you're going to make a wrong decision i'm just explaining you the process i'm just explaining you what you're going to go through okay how you're going to feel while taking this decision this can also be related to cutting out something or someone from your life okay because it's a swords card Okay, so sword always represents like you, what do you, why do you use swords for? To cut out something, right? Or to, to put an end to something, right? Uh, I think so you are standing, you are in a phase of your life, Leo, where you... You have reached a certain threshold. You have reached a certain phase. You have reached a certain level of growth in your life. And you know that there is a next level. And you, you will have to embark on a journey to achieve the next threshold. To achieve that next level. To achieve that next goal. Okay. But to walk down that journey... To walk down to to help you achieve that goal or the next threshold 
easily without any hurdles without any obstacles what is it that you need to do what you have to do is eliminate or uh, eliminate situations or people who are dragging you down who are not helping you accelerate your growth who are not helping you reach where you need to be okay so in a way i do feel like maybe you want to take someone along with you and then there is going to be another one that you'll have to leave behind so who that person is going to be who is going to accompany you in the next journey and who that person is going to be who will have to leave your life or or you can simply replace a person with a situation which situation will go along with you and which situation will be left behind okay nine of swords yes it is going to be a tough situation that's what i'm hearing again and again it's going to be a tough decision it's not going to be easy for you again it's going to be more tough because you are emotionally inclined towards someone and maybe your your rational mind is telling you that the person towards uh, to whom you are more emotionally inclined maybe you will have to cut out that person from your life okay to for, for uh, to help you grow in your life to help you reach yourself uh, to help you reach the next threshold maybe you'll have to eliminate the person that is probably uh, probably closer to you but it's not going to be easy for you it's it is you are going you will be going through certain sleepless nights but maybe it looks like somewhere your rational mind is in agreement that yes i think so i'll have to take a decision that despite the fact that i'm emotionally close to this person this is the person that is getting out of my life or despite the fact that this situation is closer to me this is the situation that is that is getting out of my life that is getting eliminated from my life seven of wands um uh, it, it might happen uh, leo that you might receive some opposition uh from people around you regarding your decision making process you might share your thoughts with other people and you might be like i think so this is what i am thinking and this is what i'm going to do i'm going to eliminate this person and i'm going to take this person along with me okay and then they will be like shocked what are you saying how come you're eliminating person a and taking person b with you you're so close to person a but you will also have some really valid reasons as to why you probably will have to drop a and why you will have to take b along with you okay or why you'll have to drop situation a and why you will have to take situation b along with you okay also i feel like you don't you know what is coming like you also know that your your decision will be questioned a lot you will be uh, you know you you will be made f- uh, you people will make you feel like you are doing a wrong thing and all that stuff but you know deep down that this is a decision that you have to take and it's it's indispensable for you to take such kind of a decision you don't have a choice in some way and you know the valid reasons like why you are taking this decision why you are eliminating something and going with something else okay now this can be a situation this can be a person if i have to deep dive into situations it can be in a situation it can be you are dropping one career selecting another career it can be like you are re- getting relocated you are ending uh, your uh, your uh, your lease is getting ended and you are not renewing that okay and then you're moving to another place another city and people are like you have your entire business over here and how come you're moving to another place to another city what is what will happen to your business okay so something some questions are getting raised but deep down you know that despite the opposition that is coming towards you despite the fact that people are not able to understand why you're doing xyz things deep down you know that why you are doing and you also know that you are right in doing whatever you are doing there are these are some intense moments that you're going to go through two of pentacles for some of you you're going to have options when it comes to your love life two of pentacles is telling me that uh it's quite possible that you're going to meet someone through work or at work okay uh 
but i also feel like after meeting this person you will you will feel attracted towards this person but then there is also going to be this lingering feeling inside you leo that i think so i can have someone better than this one okay having said so you're going to go on uh, go out on dates with this person to 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 understand like are you jumping on to conclusions are you rushing to a conclusion that yes i can have someone better or probably this person is also as better as the one that i'm looking out for okay so i do see you going out on dates with this person two of wands is telling me that the person that you want the person i mean you entertaining this thought that i can have someone better in my life than this person that is not a wrong thought process okay two of wands is telling me that yes there is someone who is ready and willing to offer their entire world to you this person wants to be with you there is someone else out over there okay and you are going to meet this person very likely while traveling while attending some public events or maybe even while doing some shopping or something you're going to meet this person at that point of time there is going to be a very strong connection between you and this person this person is going to be younger looking person the chariot yeah there is going to be a distance between you and this person no doubt for some of you this is also going to be a a uh, long distance uh, connection uh, an online connection okay but i also see that this person will have no problem whatsoever in hopping on your plane and coming towards you and meet you i mean i sort of feel like this person is a is financially well to do person someone with a very positive mindset someone with very sincere energy and sincere intentions and that is something that you will really like about this person their sincerity their commitment towards making things work between you and them that is something that will be extremely appealing to you okay i do feel like the person that you're going to meet will have strong placements of air uh, and water like uh, gemini libra aquarius pisces cancer scorpio okay let's see what are the challenges that are coming towards you we have the world yeah it's more or less the same message leo you it is going to be difficult for you to close one cycle and start another one having said so it does not mean that it is impossible for you it does not mean that you're not going to start a new cycle but because of the emotional attachment i do feel like uh, taking certain decisions is not going to be easy for you it's going to be slightly challenging especially where emotions are into play opportunities are coming towards you opportunities are making more money okay i also feel like someone is making you an offer that has the potential to give you the stability that you're looking out in your life when i say stability stability in terms of money stability stability in terms of love i feel this is more in terms of love the offer that is coming towards you uh, is giving you uh, an opportunity to feel emotionally stable okay and i do feel like this is once in a lifetime opportunity leo okay something that you should not be ignoring if i have to talk about the zodiac signs yes i told you water and air but apart from that i also see leo taurus yeah i've told you air and water already all right i hope this resonates hit like share and subscribe and comment down below link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you and likely conclusion between you and this person take care have a great time and bye bye leo